glory can live in your saliva. Not only can you pass this gift on from, you know, kissing, like I mentioned earlier, but also through oral sex. You become infected through food. You can become infected through uh, water that's been contaminated. You can be connect. You can be um, develop H. pylori through uh, fecal contamination. Okay, and so we don't want to often think about this, but fecal contamination is when your hand touches feces and or food, and, and essentially what happens is your hand then touches your mouth. And so, again, uh, that's something that I just want you to be aware of. You know, you want to make sure that you're doing a good job washing your hands, especially when you go to public restrooms, when you touch escalators, when your hand touches doorknobs. Now, I don't want you to walk around with, you know, with, uh, you know, like a, uh, you know, disinfectant, you know, with knobs and things like that, you know, disinfecting knobs and things like that. But nevertheless, you, know, you do want to be aware of these things, especially if you know you'll already have this compromised immune system. So again, another tip would be to avoid those restroom hot air dryers, right? Opt for paper when you can. So again, here's what happens in our body when we have this bacteria and that, that we've just come in contact with, right? This bacteria does not like living in our, in, in our very acidic environment.